Hey, I'm Ari from Tech Buyers Guru, and I'm going to be doing a demonstration of the Heston Q smart cooking system. This looks like a traditional frying pan, stainless steel. Looks pretty nice, right? Well, what's different about it is that it actually has smarts built into it, and it can communicate with the induction cooktop here from Heston Q. So I'm actually going to follow along with a simple recipe and see what this does for me. The recipe I'm going to try is grilled cheese. Now, I can make a grilled cheese, but I'm no expert, and maybe I'm going to learn something uh, from the Heston Q app. So there's three pieces of this system. The cookware itself, the cooktop, and the app on your smartphone. So I have a camera set up to show you what I'll be doing on the smartphone app. And of course, you're going to see me using the cooktop and the cookware. All right, let's get started. Like I said, I wanted a grilled cheese. So I typed in grilled cheese, and sure enough, a grilled cheese recipe came up. So it's showing me a video right now. It's really helpful to see that kind of demonstration. Now, it doesn't go through all the steps on the video, but at least you see what it looks like. Let's get started. So slice the bread. I'm actually going to use traditional sliced bread rather than this loaf that they suggest. So I'll go to the next step. Thinly slice the raclette. I'm actually going to be using cheddar, but should work out the same. Comte, I'm using Parmesan, but again, it should work out the same. So I portion the butter, okay. Now, it says assemble the sandwiches. So, so far, nothing in the app has, has to do with the cookware or the cooking pan. It's just giving you tips on how to prepare your ingredients, which is really cool. So keep in mind that there's more going on in this ecosystem that Heston has created than just the technology and just the hardware. There's, a, there's this whole app that teaches you how to get your food ready. So let's move to the next step. Again, they have a video here. It says, evenly distribute the sliced and grated cheeses. Okay. I've got my grated cheese here. I'm going to be putting it on. I've never done this before. So this is really interesting, a grated cheese on a grilled cheese. So I'm going to be putting this on top of the other sliced cheese. Okay, let's go to the next step. Place the Heston pan on the burner. Okay, finally, we're going to get to the cookware here. All right, I put it on the burner, and then it says next step. Let's see if it finds it. Prepare your burner, press the power button, and then the next button. And it sets the heat on its own. All right, so I did not select how hot to make this. There's actually no temperature gauge on the device itself. All right, just levels. So, oh, I accidentally pressed the button and took over. So I'm just going to press OK on the app. i got to start that over. So if you press anything on the burner, it stops your recipe. All right? So it says it's preheating the pan. You can see it tells, it says it's going to go to 350 degrees. Now, again, there's no temperature gauge on the frying pan itself, so I do have to have my phone out to see what temperature it's at. You could probably get familiar with the sliding scale on the front, uh, just get kind of get a feel for what it means, but so far I don't know what that means. I'm going to add my butter, add one tablespoon of butter and com melt completely. Okay, I'm doing that. It's melting pretty fast here. Okay, next step, add the sandwiches, okay. I just got one sandwich, so place, I'm actually, it actually says place two sandwiches in a pan. I guess that means I'm going to be butter heavy here, huh? Okay. Uh, it's toasting the sandwiches. Now, it actually has a timer built in, as you can see right here. It's at 330 degrees and it's going to take five minutes. So I'll be back in about five minutes. All right, I'm back. Five minutes up. It says remove the sandwiches. Okay, I only have one here, remember, so I'm going to pick it up with my spatula and I'm going to click next. It says add one tablespoon of butter and melt completely. Well, I actually put enough butter in here for two sandwiches, so I'm just going to spread it around because it hasn't all been absorbed. There's plenty of butter left in this pan. 
Okay. Add the sandwiches back to the pan. Wow, that actually looks really good. You know, I have made grilled cheese before. It's toasting the sandwiches. Now one little challenge I see is you always have to remember to hit next. So if I put the food in the pan and start cooking it and forgot to hit next, the timer doesn't start. So that's a little bit of an issue. It doesn't know that I've put the food on the pan. I have to tell it that I put the food on the pan. It only knows what the temperature of the food is. All right, food's ready. I'm going to take the sandwich off. At the end, it wasn't quite clear if I had to turn off the burner or if it turned it off itself. It, it actually does seem, it does seem like it turned it off because the lights are off. Is the power off? I, I believe the power's off, but it didn't say, okay, your burner's now safe to touch or, or wait three minutes for it to cool down. I would have liked that indication because since the app is actually controlling the, the burner, I don't know if I'm supposed to touch it. I don't, I don't really know what to do with it. And it, I would have liked that indication in the app. So that's the only little issue. Um, the other one being, if you don't hit next in terms of the recipe, even if you put your food in, it won't know to start the timer. So those are the only two issues. I already prepared a plate here with salt and vinegar potato chips and a sliced dill pickle. So let's have a look at the presentation. Perfectly grilled. Cheese is melted. Sandwich is toasted, but not burned. But how does it taste? Mmm. That is really good. Perfectly toasted. And again, I've done things like this before, but I always burn the bread, right? This is really good, and I like the idea of combining two cheeses and slicing one and grating the other. Mmm. Well, I certainly learned something new today. I didn't think that I could really learn much about grilling cheese, but this made a really good grilled cheese. All right, I'm Ari from the Tech Buyers Guru. If you like this video, please like and subscribe, and I will catch you next time.